There's something really fascinating happening inside Samsung's labs right now. An update that's not just polishing the edges, but completely reshaping how Galaxy phones feel in your hands. One UI 8.5 isn't even officially out yet, but early builds already give us a peek at a software future that feels cleaner, smarter, and surprisingly more playful than ever. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest tech. Now, let's get into why One UI 8.5 is such a big deal. On the surface, it looks familiar, but start digging and you'll see Samsung is rethinking the little details we use every day. Open up settings, and the first change you'll notice is the search bar quietly moving down to the bottom. It sounds minor, but it's part of Samsung's push to make everything easier to reach, even on massive displays like the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Plus, that search button now taps directly into AI, which means instead of scrolling through endless menus, your phone starts predicting what you're after. Here's where it gets more interesting. Inside sections like display, the frosted blur effect makes the UI feel softer and more premium. Switch to light mode, and it almost feels like your screen is made of glass. Device care has been redesigned with bolder, larger graphics that instantly show battery health, storage, and performance at a glance. It's cleaner, friendlier, and honestly more modern than what we had in One UI 7. But the real showstopper is the new quick panel. This is where Samsung might just flip the script entirely. Instead of a fixed grid of toggles, you can now resize them, expand them, or remove them completely. Want a giant Wii Fi tile front and center? Don't. Want Bluetooth going? Delete it. Even the media player can stretch out for easier control. It's the kind of personalization we've been begging for. And while it's a little buggy right now, since this is an early build, you can already feel the potential. The animations are smooth, Menace pop with subtle frosted backgrounds, and the whole thing feels like a cross between Pixel's simplicity and iOS's polish, but with that unmistakable Galaxy identity. Now here's a fun detail some of Samsung's core apps are quietly evolving too. The gallery app gets capsule, style navigation at the bottom, frosted backgrounds for Menace, and redesigned albums with rounded rectangular thumbnails that show photo counts inside. Even small tweaks like this make browsing photos feel snappier. And then there's Gallery Labs, now hiding a brand, new, collections optional categories, feature, which could hint at smarter auto, organization powered by AI. Jump into my files and you'll spot a bigger redesign. The search bar slides down to the bottom, categories line up neatly at the top with a gradient background, and storage info looks bold and colorful in the center. It feels less like an old file manager and more like a modern dashboard. Even the phone app is experimenting with change. The dialer shifts to a capsule, style layout, and calls pop up with a square, shaped interface that looks fresh compared to the old one. Small things, but they add up. And then there's the software update page, which Samsung has given a sleeker, more polished design. It's not flashy, but it signals that Samsung wants every corner of One UI 8.5 to feel refined. But here's the part that could get people talking. The leaks pointing to NFC, powered quick share. Picture this two Galaxy phones tapping together instantly recognizing each other and starting a transfer with a slick animation. We Fi Direct then takes over for blazing fast speeds. It's Samsung's playful twist on making file sharing not just functional, but fun. And it doesn't stop there. Built on Android 16, One UI 8.5 also lays the groundwork for Samsung's AI push. Features like Social Composer for auto, writing captions, Meeting Assist for real, time translation during presentations, Smart Clipboard for suggesting actions when you copy text, all of these sound like small tools, but they're the kind of daily conveniences that make a phone feel truly smart. So, when you put all of this together, new frosted glass effects, redesigned panels, customizable toggles, playful animations, and AI woven into the core, the picture becomes clear one UI 8.5 is less of a patch and more of a statement. It's Samsung saying your phone shouldn't just look good, it should feel alive. Of course, this is still an early build. Bugs are here, Features may evolve, and Samsung could even hold back some surprises for the official rollout. But if this is the starting point, the final release could end up being one of Samsung's most exciting updates in years. And here's the question, how far will Samsung go with customization? Will we get even more freedom over layouts, or maybe deeper AI that learns your habits? I'll be keeping a close eye on every build, so stay tuned because this story is just getting started. Drop your thoughts in the comments, do you like the frosted, 
premium look, or are you more excited about NFC file sharing making a comeback? Hit that like button if you enjoyed the sneak peek, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next wave of updates. Trust me, things are about to get even crazier.